Hello, Ter here, and we are back with Vignette. So, yeah, one day have passed. Or is it a few days? I cannot forget about the how long has it been, but they have decorated the room very much, quite a bit. I don't know, actually, they, do they change anything except that thing on the wall, which is their height? <laughs> oh, yeah, the poster. They, they also bring the poster. And that's all. They haven't put it up yet, so they haven't decorated anything. Either way, yeah, this is Vignette, a heartwarming story, you could say. So yeah, enough talk. Let's continue and enjoy the game, shall we? I was going to take it down soon anyway since mm -hmm. the band broke up, but I might as well hang it up here. Okay. Wait, what band? Cool, I brought a poster too. Uh-huh, and what did you bring? My poster. Oh yeah, we're going to see about that, little girl. Come on, uh, Rory, uh, put the poster on. You lost that bad. Oh yeah. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. Mhm. Mm and then poster. Yeah. The, what the freak is that? <laughs> we hang our poster on opposite ends of the windows. Which one are you, and which one are them? That's that's the band, definitely. Is this yours? What the freak? Uh huh. Look, I brought the soccer ball my coach gave me. Oh yeah, I just noticed the so. Oh, and there's also a cactus. That's lovely. I love cactus and a soccer ball. You don't need that at home. Mm hmm. To practice. Nah, oh wait. Mom always gets annoyed when mm -hmm. When you use it at home, but when you use it at a secret base? Mm hmm Probably because you're always kicking, kicking it off the wall- Sorry. Off the walls of the house. Yeah, that's why they bring it here. So they can practice without anyone telling them not to. That's actually kind of smart. Mm hmm But mom can't get annoyed if I kick it yes. off the Yes. Smart. I might get annoyed though. <laughs> well, what do they care about you getting annoyed? <laughs> mm hmm. Seems like a you problem. See? That's a you problem. <laughs> Not their problem. See? Ball kick slam against the wall. I stick my tongue at a Desi who proceeds, proceeds to kick the soccer ball right at all. What the freak? <laughs> no, that hurt. Uh, that sounds really hurt. I jump out of the way as the ball sails past me, hitting the old wardrobe and knocking it open. That, that really hurt. This wardrobe? Okay, let's see. Okay, it doesn't open. Dude, are you trying to take my head off? No? Perhaps. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Okay, that's ominous. Just be careful, alright? Mm-hmm. Wait, I have to screenshot that. <laughs> Desi walks past me and inspects the new, the now open wardrobe. What's in here anyway? Mm-hmm. Interesting. I turn and take a peek inside myself. Oh, cool! An old chest set. Ah, interesting. I reach into the wardrobe, removing a marble chest set from one of the shelves. And it actually survived your soccer ball attack. Yeah. Lame. <laughs> Lame. Come on, it's it's fun. But what's not lame is. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Desi also reaches into the wardrobe, pulling out two small cans of beans. Yes. Yeah. What wh what is this? More paint. Ah, okay. Heck yeah, more paint. <laughs> Heck yeah. But we just painted the walls in here a couple days ago. Oh yes, it is a couple days ago, not yesterday. And what are you trying to do with the paint? Besides, those cans are tiny, what are you going to paint with that? I don't know, but I'll think of something. Alright. Mm -hmm. Here, open them and tell me what color they are. They don't say on the outside. Alright then, let's check what's inside, I guess. Is it even safe? Okay, give me a second. I pop the lids off the can and looks at the colors. 
Looks like red and blue. Ah, interesting. Red and blue. Mm -hmm. What are you planning? Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Nighttime ambience. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look at the transition. That oh my god, that's beautiful. Pain brushing against the wall. Uh oh. That is excellent. I love it. Autumn? One year later? What the freak? Fall? Bonding. God dang, what's happening? <laughs> that is lovely. I, I am entranced by that. Oh, there's chests, there's falling leaves. It, it's lovely. Even though they are using one background assets, it's just beautiful. God dang, they, they really did a great job at, you know, using it to the maximum. Let's see. Oh, there's a skateboard also. That's lovely. Oh, and look at that small detail. The, their height is starting to get higher. Rory is getting really tall, while Desi is still growing slow. Is that their height? I cannot see the number. And also the cactus grow. Oh, that's so cute. There's a lot of small detail here. I work my way up to the stairs. To the, sorry. I work my way up the stairs to the room, pushing the door open as another set of footsteps follows behind me. Who? Yep, just got back from practice. She stands by the window with her back to me, hanging a new picture up on the wall. All right. <laughs> oh, cat. I take a seat at my usual spot and. Yeah, oh. Dad. Place you've got here. Okay, so it isn't Desi. That it is a new character, right? I thought it was someone else. No, I I think it was Desi since Des replies. Since Des reply after the what do you call it? The statement of someone footstep. Audrey. Audrey? <laughs> Post rock guitar music music. What Audrey? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, kiddo. Good to see you too. Who are you? Don't call me that. <laughs> I'm only two years younger. Mm -hmm. Rory, what is she doing here? I don't know. Rory, what is she doing here? This is supposed to be the secret base. She's uh my girlfriend. Oh. Okay, listen up, people. Don't destroy the. A public share spot just because you want to be with your girlfriend. Since when? Mm hmm. Since when? <laughs> couple days ago. <laughs> C couple days ago, and you already broke uh, Audrey here? Desi looks on in shock. Okay, but like, what is she doing here? Yes. I told you she's. Why is she here? <laughs> mm hmm. This is our secret base. Yes. Uh huh. Her face curls into a pout as Audrey bursts into laughter. Well, it seems it's no longer your secret base, then. This isn't going as well as I hope, but no, it will. It will then. It's not funny. Mm hmm. Come on, go easy on her, Audrey. You know, when we say "our," perhaps you should have discussed this first with the other member, Rory. Mm hmm. And Audrey's cool, Desi. Trust me, it will be fun. Ah, uh, no. no. That's not how you solve it. But. Oh. Mm hmm. Desi slumps down in resignation. Oh. Fine, whatever. Okay, oh. <laughs> Just don't touch anything, okay? Okay, she's pouting. Thanks for having me, Des. What's with the? What the? <laughs> mm -hmm. At least they didn't kill each other. Thank God. <laughs> Indeed.
I still can get over how lovely is the transition it is. It really tells a lot. How on earth did you two even get together anyways? Yeah, how did that happen? Is it really that surprising? I turned to Audrey with a sly wink. Oh, no. But you're so super chill and sweet, and mm -hmm. she's so freaking loud! <laughs> like you're not very loud? Mm-hmm. Dad always says I gotta quiet down a little, though. Oh, it's fine. But no, really, why Audrey? <laughs> I don't know why. Should we even be questioning this and let Rory be? Audrey's Audrey's smart, confident, and we have known each other for so long. Anyway, it just felt natural. I see. What's with the laugh? Audrey let out a devious giggle. <laughs> yeah, keep the praise coming. I mean, yeah, why not? Oh, there's plenty to praise, but first, why don't you return the favor? Oh my god, don't don't flirt here. Audrey, what have you done with Rory? <laughs> oh no. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. You know, just the usual couple stupidity. Can't see how glad I am to be with someone as great as Rory. Oh. Did you hear that, Rory? That's so excellent. Aubrey smiles and returns my wing in kind. Not that anyone wouldn't be happy with <laughs> someone as popular as you, though. What, what do you mean? That's his scythe. I don't get it, but whatever. Just be good to worry, okay? Oh, are you concerned about your big brother? It's fine. Audrey turns her head, grinning at Desi. Hey, maybe I'm too good for worry. <laughs> Have you ever thought of that? Mm-hmm. I roll my eyes at Audrey ever inflating ego. <laughs> yeah, sure, totally. So, um, mm -hmm. Sure, why not? What kind of board games? We actually can stay, we just wanted to stop by on our way downtown. Oh. Oh, wait. First, I think that the story will involve into Audrey being a part of the secret base member, or Audrey will ruin the secret base. But it turns out, perhaps, I'm just theorizing, because Rory spent a lot of time with Audrey, they didn't have much time to be in the secret base, and finally it's getting abandoned. We have a protest to be at in half an hour. Oh, a, a protest? I I thought you were going to a date, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. That's that's amazing. You know, a little secret story. I I met my first date back then when I when I was attending a protest uh, it it's kind of weird I don't know uh, it's kind of weird you know to find your first date at a protest so you just came here to show off your new girlfriend then huh yes I mean I was also going to invite you to join us yeah you're welcome to tag along if you want yeah that's alright, I need to get started on my math homework anyway. But you just say you want to play a board game. You guys have fun though. Take care. Mm-hmm, take care. Oh. Thanks, Daz. Oh. <laughs> What's with that? See you at home. Winter ambience, wind and snow. Oh, that's... That's a few months, isn't it? Okay, that... Ah, I... Oh, I... Snowy. <laughs> There's a Christmas tree made from cardboard. And what is that? I cannot see it clearly. Oh, that's a stone concrete for a book bookshelf. Interesting. What else? Okay, nothing much have changed. Oh, no, okay, the hate didn't increase. But this place feels lonely and cold. The cold bitter air sends shiver running through me. 
Howling wind rages just outside the window. Rory, you need to chill out, okay? No, not okay. What happened? I know, I know. I'm just... Listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. I don't care what the teachers say. I don't care what my dad says. I can't deal with all this shit going on. What shit is going on? I know you care. And I know school's important. If I can't handle everything, then maybe I need to focus on my health. Yeah, I agree. Focusing on your health is a good idea. Audrey, I... What is happening exactly? And if it does, I'm not cut out for this anyway. For what? Audrey, please just let me help. Where's Desi? Audrey, Audrey lets out a troubled sigh. You really don't get it, do you? No, obviously don't. But who else? <laughs> I mean, in the end, almost no one gets us. So just let it be, I guess. Then help me understand, yeah. Damn it, Rory! Did you hear one word of what I just said? Oh, come on. You, you both are in a pressure and it's hard to understand each other, you know. The word lashed out of the phone and pierced into my chest. Oh. How much clearer do I have to be? Crystal clear? I understand you care, and you know I love you to hell and back. Oh. No, they don't. Perhaps. Yes, Audrey, I am. Are you? Really? Does it matter, Audrey? Every day it's more bullshit from my dad about how much better I do if I just fucking learn to apply myself. Mm-hmm. And every night, I'm up till midnight taking care of my kid brother, all while my grandma screams her head off over every little thing. Well, I did say that this is heartwarming the genre is, but change that to slice of life. J just slice of life. And then come morning, I've got my mom and teachers going on about piles and piles of homework. Oh. Again and again, no matter how much I try, I'm still not good enough. Oh, and I understand that feeling. Oh, no you can. You, you cannot deal with that. But you don't understand how it feels. I don't know about Rory, but I do understand how it feels. Hearing that from you too? And I know we have been through a lot, but just don't be too harsh to Rory. It's just hard to understand everything, you know. Even even I don't understand everything. I know. It's just shit. Mm-hmm. As Audrey Rand comes to a close, dead air dominates the space between us. Finally Audrey speaks up again. I'm sorry, Rory. I didn't mean to explode on you like that. It's okay. It's okay, Audrey. I just I'm not very good at things like this. <laughs> See? Told you. That makes two of us. I slouch into my chair and curl into my knees. As the day day returns, Audrey awkwardly changed the subject. Hey, we should do something for the holidays, right? Sure. Where's Desi? We can go somewhere with Des. Uh huh. Maybe I could bring my brother along too. Ah, yeah. I think there's an arcade somewhere in town. Sure. And maybe we could do something on Christmas Eve, too. Oh. <laughs> Just the two of us. That sound good to you? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Mm hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Sorry for making you put up with my shit, by the way. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I hate being like this. Oh. I know. It's okay. See you tomorrow. Love you. Yeah. Spring 
Oh, breaking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Afternoon ambience. Desi comes walking up the stairs, opening the door as she quietly peers inside. Are you alright, Rory? Could be. Could be not. Not great. Well, at least you still can talk. I shrink further into my chair. Oh. Any way I can help? Nah. Oh. She comes inside and sits down in one of the chairs. Uh huh. You know, Audrey and I broke up last night, right? Well, that's sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A long time coming, hasn't it? Downbeat reflective music. Mm hmm. No need to remind me. I just. I should have been better than this. On the surface, Audrey always seemed like she had everything under control. She is smart and confident. It felt like no matter what happened, she could make it all just work out somehow. I admire her for that. I still do. She's just that kind of person, huh? Yep. She is. You could say that. Every day I felt like I saw more and more pain on her face. I hated that. I would have given anything just to make her happy again. I was worried for her. What if she just doesn't graduate? Things could get worse and worse from there, you know? No, it's... It isn't. You're judging her. I know graduating from school could help, but not graduating from one doesn't mean the end of all everything, you know? I couldn't sit there and do nothing. I didn't just want to help. I felt like he, I had to. She needed me too. But she didn't. And I ended up making things worse. I couldn't stop myself, regardless of whether or not it was the right thing to do. Oh. Yet all I did was make her life more of a mess. I never wanted that. Talking to Desi made me realize that if I had done things differently, Audrey and I could have worked things out. At first I thought it was because Audrey was just being stubborn, but it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> it really isn't. Oh god dang it. <laughs> Audrey is strong. I was being insensitive. Well... Well, mistake seven. I guess this is where it all ends, isn't it? You're still friends, aren't you? Yeah. I think it's going to take a while to patch up the mess I made, but we should eventually be okay. Yeah, things didn't work out, but she'd still rather have a oh. better life than not. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Sometimes things happen that are out of your control, Vari. Yeah, that is true. Really true. Just the wrong place at the wrong time, and Audrey is stubborn. <laughs> Both of you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a way. But yeah, yeah, Rory is kind of guessing Audrey is stubborn in a different way. Yeah, Audrey is stubborn, but this stubbornness is also different. There's two stubbornness in Audrey. One is her own self and the other comes from her, you know, mental condition right now. But hey, at least it doesn't end really that bad, I guess. And also what happens exactly? Mother always says, right? Mm -hmm. You can't save everyone. Yes, I guess. Desi springs out of her chair, coming over to place a hand on my shoulder. And that's okay, even if it's scary sometimes. Uh huh. That doesn't mean you failed her. Yeah. It's okay to be sad. Just don't beat yourself up over it. It's easy to say that, it's, it, it is easy to think of that, but it's hard not to. But I guess it is helpful to remember that, you know, to help fighting it. Alright, Rory? Alright. You care if I just sit here all day, or... 
Desi reaches down and pinches my cheek. Hey, what are you doing? Moping around isn't huh. gonna make you any less depressed about it. Mm hmm right. I get it, I get it. Good, now come on. We're going to the park before it gets dark. Let's go. I'm going to take the first place of the... What do you call it? The slides. I don't care if there's kids there. I'm gonna push them away and I will ride the slide. No matter what. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, just kidding. Nighttime rain ambience. Summer. There's a lot of time skipping it. Deviation. Footsteps. You know, this kinda reminds me of the first time we were here together. Yeah, except the rules uh -huh. are first. How does it feel to get led up some rickety old stairs while completely blind? Wait, what? Okay, uh, we, we are being blinded, right? Uh-huh. Even with my eyes closed, I can still clearly imagine her annoying smirk. The rickety old stairs but me with a timely groan. That's a nice expression you have. Yeah, not fun, is it? Uh-huh, no it's not. Yeah, yeah, you realize you don't have to do this too, right? It's not like you're going gonna ruin the surprise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I know. Okay. Doors open, we reach the top of the stairs, and I hear the door creak open. Desi gets me in, bringing us to a stop in the center of the room. Alright, go ahead, open them. What is the surprise? Ah! Happy birthday! Calm mo motivational music. I see you have done some decorating. Now there's... Oh, drinks! That's nice. And there's... What is that? Music box? That's nice. I love it. Basketball! Aww. There's a lot of things. Oh, the cactus grow. That's so nice. Lovely. Did you do this for me? Yep. Well, most of it anyway. Most of it? What do you mean? Our parents had unavo unavoidable business today. They'll be celebrating my birthday with me as soon as they can, of course. Okay. In fact, they seem more upset about the situation than I was. But Desi still wanted to do something for me in the meantime. Aw. Wow, this all looks amazing. So... What's that? What's... Oh, oh wait. They're high increase again. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Lovely. What's that? What's what? Desi follows my pointed hand towards the new additions in the corner of the room. What additions? Oh. Uh-huh. Hello. Desi runs over to the object in question, kneeling down and giving me a beaming smile as she pats the device. This this device? This little baby is our new heater. It ah. For both of us. Excellent. Well, you know how freaking cold it can get in here. Where do you get the money to get that? Like a used car salesman, she probably shows off the rest of her wire hazard, a car battery hooked up to the device. Oh no. Can't really run that long mm -hmm. setup, but it should be enough to warm this place up. Yeah. I don't know, warming it in a good way or the fire hazard way? <laughs> Where did that thing come from anyway? Kyle's family was getting rid of it. No, so Kyle. <laughs> oh, Kyle. Or whatever how Cartman says it. Uh-huh. Oh, cool. Desi gets up from her press creation and strolls over to the wardrobe that has become our de facto storage cabinet. I still can't believe you ended up being such a good friends with a guy considering how you guys met and all. Indy, <laughs> you said you hate Kyle. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. Kyle can be an idiot at times, but he's smarter than he looks. Not to mention he can oh. be kind of sweet. Sometimes. Sometimes. As Desi reaches the wardrobe, she spins on her heel, revealing a cheeky smirk. Reminds me of a certain someone. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Hey. Wardrobe opens. Desi sticks her tongue out, then rolls around and begins rummaging through the wardrobe. I come, come up behind her just as she finds what she's looking for. 
Then she turns to me without with outstretched arms. Oh, that's. Oh, thank you. What is that? In her hands, there's a stack of various scents and posters from protests that I have attended. I have a lot of this hung up at home, but not here yet. Oh. I know it isn't mm -hmm. much, but you told me how much you wanted to hang some of this stuff up here. Where did you get them? So I decided mm -hmm. to save you the trouble of locking it upstairs. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. There really are quite a few, although most are still in the wardrobe. Desi must have spent quite a bit of time and energy getting it all up here. After she sets my poster down at the table, I squeeze her in the best hug I can master. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Desi. You're the best sister ever. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. Now please stop crushing my bones. <laughs> uh-huh. Sorry. Oh. Uh, what? Did what just happened? The poster are blinking? After finish placing my new decorations, I go ahead and swipe another soda from the table. What new decorations? <laughs> Sitting back, I admire my handiwork while enjoying its refreshing taste. Not too shabby if I saw myself. Indeed. You done, Rory? Yeah. Sure, why not? Yep, what do you think? Desi looks over my stuff, her expression unmoving as she gives her brief inspection. Uh, I mean, it's cool, I guess. Yeah. I just wonder how you got so much of this stuff in the first place. Attending a lot of protests, that's what. Like, I've mm -hmm. long lost count yeah. of how many protests you've been to at this point. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good question, actually. Just how many have I been to? Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah, well, it's not like I was counting them in the first place. Indeed. Desi furrows her brow, staring at me intently. She opens and closes her mouth a few times before pursing her lips. She can be so awkward at a stranger's times. Desi, you know you can ask me anything, right? Yeah, I know, I know. It's just uh huh. That. Just what? Desi drops her head, heaving a scythe before pulling herself up and returning her gaze to me. Uh huh. I mean, I kind of ah, get it, okay. but it feels like you've been going to every <laughs> single protest, no matter mm -hmm. what it is. I think it, uh, Rory is just trying to find a way to, you know, get their mind off something else. Desi goes over to the window and leans on the window frame, looking out over the dreary landscape beyond. Maybe I don't even care why. I just hate not understanding you. Oh, that's fine. Desi. I'm your sister, Rory. Mm -hmm. I hate feeling like I don't understand the person I'm closest to. Oh. Looking back, I should have realized something was off. Whenever I spoke about anything relating to, relating to my activism, Desi did seem more detached than usual. God, I'm such an idiot. Nah, it's fine. It's fine being an idiot. Everyone, everyone is an idiot sometimes. I'm sorry, Desi. I should have realized sooner. Desi shakes her head. No, don't mm -hmm. be sorry. Your tunnel vision can be annoying, but it's one of your best qualities. Oh, okay. No, don't be sorry. It's annoying when you get so obsessed, but I know you do it because you care. That I look is different, but that's fine. That's also what makes me so anxious. Anxious about what? I still don't exactly understand you, but after watching you all this time, <laughs> you really do care so much about everything. Well, I mean, all life are precious, isn't it? Watching you care so much, even when it isn't your problem, I can't help but feel like I'm not good enough somehow. No, you're good enough, you know. Every person takes their own path and, you know, each to their own, but it's a good path. Every one of them. Unless, of course, you're an evil person. But other than that, what is so wrong to just living, you know? I mean, I don't have much going for me, you know? <laughs> Compared to you, I'm just a kid playing around. And that is fine. 
Silence takes hold over the room. Desi eyes widen as she covers her mouth with her hand. What is it? Fori, I I'm sorry. It's your birthday and I Oh, I see. Mm hmm That's I fine. Didn't mean, to. didn't mean to what? No, no, it's okay. Uh, talking too much? No, it's fine. I step up to Desi and wrap her in a bear hug. Oh. Thank you for telling me, Desi. Though you really should tell me about this kind of stuff sooner. Wait. As I'm hugging Desi, something catches my eye. Her basketball? Don't tell me. Hey Desi? Hmm? Uh huh, yeah, I've noticed the basketball. I break off the hug. Does this have anything to do with you starting to play basketball? Oh, I see. Her eyes once again become like saucers before shifting off to the side. What do you mean become saucers? Like it just glow and shine like that? <laughs> so sweet. I knew it. When she made the switch to focus on basketball, I thought it was strange. Desi has always been a huge soccer fan, she likes most sports, but soccer's always been her favorite. So when she said she just felt like playing basketball more, I knew something was off. I guess I can't hide anything from you, huh? Yeah, no. Desi picks up her ball and begins to do tricks, spinning the ball with great dexterity around her hand. I do love soccer, you know? But yeah. the effort you always put in makes me feel a little left behind. Aww. Desi dribbles the ball with frightening ease around her body in, way that, in ways that I can hardly follow. So I thought, mm -hmm. what could a kid like me do? Playing basketball? Maybe I won't ever do something yeah. big like you will. But I think I can do something for my own family. Yep. But you know me, school isn't my thing. I just can't get into it, you know? Well, a lot of people can, so relax. Desi pops up and finds a shot. So I thought, what if I just focus on my strengths? Mm -hmm. That would certainly help. I'm much better at sports after all. That's a good idea. It's just that there's no real opportunity for soccer in the States, you know? Ah, I see. I mean, our women's national team is good, but that opportunity is only for the best of the best. Well, you can just keep it for your hobby then. That, that is... That is not fine, but at least that's what we can get. But basketball is another story. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> you know, Desi, you don't have to. I want to, Lori. Oh. Watching you made me think about what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I've already decided that. Oh. Someone as smart as you really deserves to go to college. Yep. I feel like you can actually make a difference in the world. Unlike me. Mm, oh, Desi. It's fine. Anything to make that happen. It's fine. You, you can also change the world just the way you are. Besides, I want to help support our parents. They gave up so much to raise us. Oh, indeed. I may not be able to do it with smarts or wit, but with my skills. Uh huh. Desi finds another shot, seeming to float into the air in an in a for an impossible amount of time. She comes back down smiling as she lands. I'll fight for a future we could be proud of. Yes, we will. Autumn Ambience. Fall. What's the title? Snapshot. Ah, this seems nice. Uh-huh. Careful, Audrey. Be careful for Christ's sake. Rory. Fuck, I am being fucking careful, Rory. Oh wait, it's Audrey. I forgot about that. And what are they doing? Shit, 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 shit. Ow, hey, watch your steps, watch your steps. Wait, are they playing basketball or... Sorry, sorry. God, that really hurts. What hurts? Here, Seth. We have to keep you off that knee. Wait, I think this is a bug. Wait a minute. Oh, now it's gone. I tried to load from a further point and now it's fixed. I don't know why there's a basketball sound. Be on the bench for months now, aren't I? Oh no, what happened? Said pain music. That haunting pop still rings out in my ears. A potentially career ending sentence to many athletes. Oh no. 
She tore something important in her knee and I fear for the worst. Caution demolition area, what is happening? Please save our home. Oh, this place is going to be destroyed. And you're all protesting about that. Desi was supposed to rest and recover from her last injury. Lest it become chronic, we all knew. I knew. She shrugged off, sneaking out and practicing through the pain late at night when our parents weren't home. It was just the price of following her dream. And I wouldn't dare stop her, oh no. Sometimes I join her. We all make sacrifice to do what we love, right? I, I don't blame her. Yeah, don't, don't blame her. Sitting at home knowing you can do what you love, I wouldn't be able to do that either, indeed. But still, oh no. I let out a long scythe, struggling to accept the situation. How did it go so bad quickly? Desi looks to me with concern in her eyes. You guys can go out and continue the protest. I'll be alright, okay? Okay. I shake my head knowing full well that she won't be. Hey, at least the cactus grow. Now Desi, I need to stay with you. I can go back outside with you hurt like this. I can abandon her. I'm the one that convinced Desi to join the protest now. That we could stop the city from destroying our hideout. When we saw the sites posted all over our hideout, declaring the building a demolition zone, I knew we had to fight back. This was the home that we made. It, I've been to countless protests before. It was time for me to organize my own. Time for me to grow up, to take action. Seeing that she put in so much effort into her dream, I had to put even more into mine. Oh. Hey, I'll be fine, I promise. We need to save our hideout, don't we? Yeah. If I rest inside for a bit, I'll feel better. I don't I don't know. Her pain expression betrays her, she knows just as well as I do what this injury means to her to her career. Her dreams. I know she had to stay off her, her knee for a while, and yet I wanted her to join us in this protest. Just a light protest couldn't possibly hurt Desi, I told myself. It is low impact, I said. Low impact, she agreed. Our, pa our parents would never allow it, so we didn't tell them a thing. I alone put her in harm's way. Desi starts to comfort me again, but stop with the win whines. She's in a lot of pain, her knee already beginning to swell. She is acting tough for me, she shouldn't have to. Audrey breaks the heavy silence. So, what are we going to do now? Well, the best thing to do is to treat the wound as quickly as possible by going to the hospital, but... I don't know, do we have the thing to do that? If not, we, we just continue the protest. Give Desi some rest, sure, but we can't mm -hmm. stay inside forever. We need to get her home. Yeah. But if we leave... No, Desi, no. It's fine. Because, you know, even though this place is full of memories, memories can always be made somewhere else. And also, home is where family belongs, I guess? Not not a place, but a place that makes you feel like you're alive, I guess. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Let's just say a home without you there just isn't right. Especially if you are not happy. When we leave Desi, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but we can't save this place. It was a pipe dream from the start. Oh. That's not true! If we just show... Desdemona. Desdemona? What are a bunch of teenagers going to do? Oh. I don't know. You're wrong! We wouldn't be mm -hmm. if that were the case. You have to be wrong. I wish she was. 
Well, she is wrong. We can do something, but that will involve us getting arrested. But at least I think we can delay it for a day or a few hours. The destruction. My voice trails off. I, I will then tell how to do it because it's crime. That was my voice, right? Desi and Audrey stare at me, both shocked by my uncharacteristic cynicism. We have to believe that anything's possible with enough effort, that we could reverse the city decision and have our home back. That, if we speak, our voice will be heard. They have to be. Because the alternatives is too much to bear. My stomach churns, eyes gathering inside my chest. I hold myself tighter. But the feeling won't go away, no matter how hard I squeeze. I shut my eyes. I can't let my tears out. I am strong. I have to be strong for Desi. For my little sister. Uh huh. This was my idea, so this is my responsibility. If Desi can recover, that's my fault too. Rory. Yeah, Rory. Audrey interrupts my downward spiral. I steal myself and open my eyes. You're right. It was a pipe dream. Desi's confusion turned to anger and back again. Oh. My silence provides explanation enough. But we had to try, right? Yeah. We have to. I nod then shake my head. That's what I felt. But was it worth it? Is there even something worth worth it in the world, you know? I think everything is worth it. I don't know, but if we didn't try, we would never know. I couldn't handle that, living with that question in my mind. That regret. You're right. We had to try. Uh huh. Even if we knew Aww. it wouldn't work out. We don't just sit down and take it. We've had enough of that in the city. Yes. With that, we're all in silent agreement. Finally recovering from my brief panic attack, I lay a hand on Desi's soldier, shoulder. I'm sorry, Desi. Let's get you home. I'll, I'll call mom. Desi slowly, slowly leans back in her chair, defeated. This blows. Yeah. Audrey sneakers. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> oh, it proved infectious as Desi joins in, and soon all three of us are laughing at the absurdity of it all. Oh, I yes, you're definitely not wrong. Sometimes you can help but laugh in the face of pain. Yeah. <laughs> what other choice do we have? Oh. Yeah. They take off the poster? That's interesting. You know the poster that say it's going to be demolished. Hey Daisy! Hey Daisy, stand still, you're ruining the shot. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Quit your complaining. <laughs> yeah, quit your complaining. Desi is wearing crutches. I focus my camera on Desi and the room behind her. It is slated for destruction in just a few days. But after our protest, the city was nice enough to give us one last day to clean up and clean out. Oh. Well, at least we got that. And also, oh no, we lost. 
Desi. Well, that's fine. I don't know, it's not fine. For posterity's sake, we decided to take one final set of pictures. Uh, when they say snapshot, I thought it was going to be a memorial snapshot, a happy memorial snapshot, not this. This is bittersweet. We don't have a way to prop up the camera so we can take a picture together, instead we came up with a more meaningful solution. Desi would, to the best of her ability, take picture, take a picture of me, then I snap one of her, once we get a photos developed, I take the picture of her and vice versa. Oh. That way we always remember our times with each other. As sappy as it sounds, the room is just a collection of memories shared by siblings. Yeah, sappy, that's the word. It's just a place. Desi, what's matter to me? Yeah, that's what I'm going to was going to say back then when I say it's just a place. What matter is Desi. Audrey too, of course, but she refused to take part. Something about not wanting to get in the way of quality family time. Oh, whatever that means. Nonetheless, I appreciate the sentiment. Well, I guess now's the time to say goodbye. With a final click, the shutter captures this one last moment in time. Yep. One last moment. So it's not just called vignette because of the because of a collection of memories, but also because they indeed take a picture. A moment no one can take away from us. A moment to last the rest of our lives. Camera Shutter Devil Fat for Nano Reno 2021, Creative Director, Kristen Wolf, Net Net Sauce, it's good. Kristen Wolf, uh, there's a lot, I cannot read all of it and it's fast, you should probably slow it down. Oh, look at that, this... A collection of vignette memories. Lovely. Yeah, you, you know, the stories are kind of cut there and there and there, but it's not a bad point because the theme of this game is vignette. It's supposed to be a collection of old memories, something you feel you discover from a box of old photos, uh, memories of other people. Lovely memories, you could say. And sad or... Yeah, it's memories, that's all I could say. And the game did a good job at that with the time and stuff. And also the title screen changed. I just realized that. That is excellent. I love it. Using one background theme is not is not a problem here because it's it's the strength of this visual novel. It yeah, it it, it makes the sensation of the memories goes even stronger. I love it. So I guess that's all for vignette. It is excellent. See you later then in my next video. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, by the way, we have to check the credit, I guess, because the credit is quite fast. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, this is fine. You can see the whole credit here. There it is. Voice of Desi, Oriani Marchese, Voice of Audrey, Kankoi, Marketing Director, The Alchemist. Hey, the marketing director should have contacted me. <laughs> just, just kidding. Marketing, Tristan Wolf, Barber, Matthew, Russ, Cantwell, Ned, Ned, Sauce, Burns, Cinematic Director, The Alchemist, Special thanks to Ren P. Tom, The Lemas of Forum, or fans, all thank to you, all of our patrons including, Jonas Lee, Merit Barber, The One Alchemist, wait a minute, wait, is this the same person? <laughs> That's nice. So, yeah. Oh wait, gallery, I kinda want to see. It's 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 freaking lagging. Oh. Oh, that is nice. You know, this is the first time I'm glad I, to have background gallery <laughs> for This is the first time I'm glad to have a background gallery for official novel. Oh wait, you can see a lot of stuff here. Not a, just background. I want to see all of it. Wait, wait. We're not just going to end it, right? Ah, I see. Oh, that's spooky. 
that's the room. We have already seen it, but... Sorry, it's kind of lagging in the gallery. There's the one Alessandra's Huang. Interesting. Sorry, it's kind of lagging in the gallery. I don't know why. My computer isn't just that strong. So this is created by the drawing. The characters are by Alessandra's Huang. That is nice. I will then view the characters because I have to <laughs> conserve my... I don't know, energy because it's very lagging. But this thing, this small thing, that's we what we need to see. Anagram 9, Music Poster 1. Oh, I see. Excellent. Oh, deadlines. Nano Reaper. Climate activism poster. We can still save our planet, but we have to work together. Yeah, we can. We definitely can, right? Ah, LGBTQ poster plus poster. No two are alike, yet we are all the same. Support LGBTQ plus today. Oh, already did. What else? Stop all this brutality. Yeah, stop all this brutality. I. Eh? I feel like Desi lost her ability. Because, you know, I. Uh, I, I myself join quite some protest and I know the culprit of the injuries usually. Early sketch by Shahar Vo Voiderling Hot. Ah, Audrey. Testimona. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but the... What do you say? The sprites looks different, but that is fine. Look at that. Yes, well, tops for emote. <laughs> Simplified. Ah, oh, that's nice. And then the final concept art, I guess. Vignette. Lovely. I like it. I guess that's all, because if I feel this, it's probably going to <laughs> destroy my PC. I have a weak PC. That's all. Oh, okay, song. Vignette by Dio. Oh, they even named the song Vignette. Our secret base, Paul Robbins, chillin' Dio. Let's clean up J, past memories, Dio. Medi Anderson, nice. I will not read all the name of the music because I wish. Because I'm quite hurt already, but. Oh, J, yeah. But I will read the name of the people who made it. So I guess that's all for Vignette. I hope you enjoy it because I do. See you later then in my next video. Bye-bye, Rory. Bye-bye, Desi, and bye-bye, Audrey. So long.